so welcome students in the previous video i've taught you what is huckel's rule i've taught you what are the different sources of aromatic compounds now we'll come back and learn the preparations of benzene right so benzene structure also we have learned different different types of structures please watch the previous video so we now i have to prepare benzene the first important thing is from coal tar fractions this is what i have taught you so i already gave in the previous video light oil middle oil heavy oil so <clears throat> i have also given you the uh, temperatures at which it is that means of where we what temperature do we get the required product so what do i do first thing preparation that's from coal tar fractions so please watch the earlier video i have given the information about this so here what do they do they take the light oil which we have got this light oil it is washed with acid washed with acid and base why do they wash with acid and base here by washing with this we are going to remove acidic and basic impurities whatever impurities are there both acidic and basic impurities they are washed off done from here this is finally taken and it is washed with water once it is washed with water they are going to take it to a distillation tank and in this distillation tank what is the temperature maintained means according to product required so we very well know up to 180 degrees which i have shown you in the previous video up to 180 degrees your benzene means benzene toluene xylene all you'll get but here we are preparing benzene so the fraction whatever is distilled once it done here at 180 exactly at 80 degrees we are going to get benzene this is how it is prepared when you would take this temperature from 80 90 100 like that till 180 you get other products like toluene and xylene also right this is one method of preparation now let us see the next method of preparation of benzene i can prepare benzene by decarboxylation reactions decarboxylation of carboxylation of sodium benzoate decarboxylation of sodium benzoate so what is sodium benzoate basically see here c6 h6 is benzene so i'm going to take c6 h5 co over na now i'm going to add soda soda lime to this soda lime is a mixture of sodium hydroxide and calcium oxide then you're heating it so let us write this this is a sodium benzoate why did we take this because sodium benzoate when i take soda lime to this both and you're heating it in one of the video i also showed you what is the role of soda lime why do we take cao please watch that video here what happens na2 just observe carefully na2 co3 comes out so the first product which are, which comes out is sodium carbonate now what is left out this hydrogen from here goes and adds to this benzene so or say 6h5 and finally forms a product of benzene this is what we are trying to prepare so decarboxylation is removal now what does happens further when you heat this will form sodium oxide plus carbon dioxide that's a decarboxylation now the next method of preparation of benzene here i am going to take benzene sulfonic acid benzene you are preparing from benzene sulfonic acid so what is sulfonic acid let's see Let's see here benzene either formula it is c6h6 but here c6h5 sulfonic acid is so3h what is the name write the name of this compound benzene sulfonic acid to this benzene sulfonic acid what am i going to do i am going to heat it with dilute sulfuric acid okay but dilute sulfuric acid i am adding 
So when you add dilute sulfuric acid to this, what will happen? Just see here, observe carefully. And this hydrogen, okay, let me take this. Yes. Yeah. And this hydrogen goes in as to this. So I'm going to get H2SO4 is out. Benzene is prepared. Right? So hydrolysis using this, and finally I'm getting sulfuric acid out. So there's one more method of preparation of benzene. So I'm going to take benzene here. I'm going to use a word called BDC. What is BDC? BDC is benzene diazonium chloride. Let us write the formula. B stands for benzene. D stands for diazonium chloride. So I'm going to take this BDC. Let's write the formula. Formula is C6. H5, okay, benzene. Basically, it is C6H6, but we have taken out one hydrogen and added this group. So, C6H5. Di means 2, that is diazo. Azo means nitrogen group. And chloride. C6H5N2Cl. This is BDC. This one. Now to this BZ, BDC, I am heating with hypophosphorus acid and heating. So what does this hypophosphorus acid does? It immediately expels out this nitrogen gas. This nitrogen gas, whatever is there now, it expels out. After that, immediately one hydrogen comes out with this as HCl and the leftover hydrogen goes in at 6 at 6 basically h3po2 it's used to add hydrogen that hydrogen h2 this h2 whatever is there now one h comes out with the cl as hcl one more nitrogen gas expels out and this hydrogen this expels out and this hydrogen goes and adds to this forming benzene so we have got benzene compound also done this is no preparation. Suppose if I have to further prepare, I can prepare benzene from, see here, from phenyl magnesium bromide. Okay. So, what is this phenyl magnesium bromide? We will see. Phenyl, okay. C6H6 is benzene. Now, I am taking C6H5. MGBR phenyl magnesium bromide. Now, what am I going to do? I am going to treat this with water. Immediately, just see here, this magnesium bromide breaks and this comes out as MgOH and Br, and the leftover comes in adds here as benzene. This is benzene. I can also prepare benzene from acetylene. So let us write that benzene from acetylene. This, will, this you can use it as a conversion question also. How can I prepare? What I do is acetylene, what is the formula? What is this is acetylene? The same thing, I think I can write it like this. Yes. Now I'm going to take acetylene I'm going to take, introduce in the red hot iron tube I've shown this reaction already in polymerization also red hot iron tube so here I'm going to take three of this it's basically like this H H H H this is going to shift here during polymerization this is going to shift here this is going to shift here and finally this forms benzene say 6 h 6 like this this is called polymerization reaction now further i can prepare benzene using or no like uh, more reactions if i see 
or important thing. <coughs> you can further prepare benzene from n hexene. So <coughs> it is right, one more conversion benzene from n hexane. Sick. One more thing, we will write the headings and keep. I can prepare benzene from phenol also. I can also prepare benzene from chlorobenzene. So let's see what it is. So, benzene from n hexane. So, what is n hexane? N is hexane. One okay, hexane and six carbons. Six it is an alkene C and H2N plus two. So C6 H14 is an hexane. To this N hexane, when I'm introducing <coughs> CrO3 or Al2O3, what will happen? And you're heating it when this reagent is present immediately, four twos are eight hydrogens are out. What do they do? They come out in or they get evolved or they get released in the in the form of hydrogen gas whenever you are adding this. So in C6H14 you are taking 8. So 14 minus 8 this becomes C6H6. For how many hydrogens? 4 hydrogens come out in the form of evolution in the form of gas. This is called aromatization. This reaction is called aromatization. That means from a straight chain from a straight chain it has undergone a ring straight chain it has undergone a ring that's why it's called aromatization reaction now if i take phenol what is phenol formula this is phenol c6h5oh is phenol now if i have to introduce means i have to take a what should i do i have to prepare benzene let's try this this is c6h5oh if I add one hydrogen to this and remove means this hydrogen if I add and take out oxygen. So take out oxygen, addition of hydrogen or removal of oxygen is uh, reduction isn't it. So I am going to use a reducing agent like zinc. What am I going to do? I am going to heat it. Then automatically benzene is out, C6H6 is out because this hydrogen and ZNO comes out. That's it. <clears throat> now benzene from chlorobenzene. I'm going to take chlorobenzene Cl and <coughs> I'm going to use reducing agents like nickel and aluminium. Okay, so when I'm using reducing agent, or this is a nickel aluminium alloy, isn't it? This is an alloy mixture of two or more metals. So this alloy is taken in sodium hydroxide solution. When you are taking this in sodium hydroxide solution, what will happen? This is a reducing agent. We are going to add hydrogen to this. So what will happen? HCl comes out. And this hydrogen adds to this. So benzene is formed. That's it. So we have seen the different preparations of benzene. So what, what preparations we have seen? We have seen it from benzene, sulfonic acid, from so using soda lime, decarboxylation. I have shown you the reduction. I have shown you the conversion of benzene to hexane, benzene to, uh, sorry, and hexane to benzene, phenol to benzene, chlorobenzene to benzene. So the, these are the different preparations of benzene strings. Let me come back and meet with the properties of benzene along with the mechanisms. I will be teaching you with the mechanisms and the properties of benzene. Thank you for watching.